I don't know what's going on with the lighting, but we'll go with it. I have my, my two ring lights. They're usually not very bright. I think it's the contrast. It's Save Saturday, so I just went to the grocery store. I guess this might be a, a new thing for me to go to the grocery store and then record a video. And uh, it's, a haul, it's a haul video on what I bought. Okay. First I went to the dollar store. Oh, I was going to better take this tomato out before I crushed it. Crush it. We'll go to the, I went to the dollar store first and I bought some stuff, but we will um, we'll get to that part. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I don't know how to say this without it's, it's I kind of I feel good that I feel guilty. Oh, I didn't. Oh no. I was oh no. Oh no. Okay, I bought bagels were on sale. So I bought them and I thought because also cucumbers were on sale and tomatoes were on sale and I like to make sandwiches and also I just heard there was there was a lot. I heard that I was on the John Tesh radio show. I apologize for bringing that up every time. What are we going to do about this lighting? Should I back these up a little bit or turn, put one down? I guess put one down, but then it's then it's not bright enough. I don't know, maybe I won't point it at myself. On the John Tesh radio show, they, he said something about bagels having all of this stuff in them, especially all seasoned bagels. Uh, I don't think he took into consideration um, cinnamon raisin bagels, which I like. I like that mix of sweet and savory, so I'm going to make hummus tomato and a cucumber sandwiches out of these and I'll eat all six I'll make six sandwiches and I'll eat them that's what I'll eat today and then I probably will have you know what happens I bought two of them though because I saw that I had a coupon too so um, they have them at the checkout and when one scanned and I looked to see um, my savings when I scanned my points card it said that you get points you also get coupons for buying bagels this week so then I just grabbed the other I was I told myself you're only gonna just you're just gonna do it once especially because potatoes are only a dollar seventy seven and I only bought one bag to make it easy to carry it. And also because they have better storage than I do. So I'm going to go on the last day. However, on Thursday, I should have looked to see what was on sale this week. And I should have bought uh, potatoes and been eating potatoes all week. And I remember I was eating cookies and Dony cookies. Uh, I don't, it's not acceptable to eat cookies. So don't eat cookies. Anyway, on Wednesday, I will go and I'll buy maybe three bags of russet potatoes. They save better this time of year than in the summertime. In the summertime, I would buy bulk potatoes and because it's warmer, they didn't last as long. And then I think I might be running out of oatmeal, so I bought one bag. No, spe no special or anything, but so I only bought one, and then plus I didn't want to carry too much today. And think about it, I've been eating a lot of popcorn recently. What is what's with the lighting? Maybe, maybe we should make it romantic. So I bought a couple bags of popcorn. Also, they've been running out of popcorn. However, I keep finding it in different parts of the store, and wondering, oh, do they just are they just putting the popcorn over here? So I don't know. Okay, so yeah, and here are the cucumbers that are on sale. These are, I don't know how much cucumbers are. Anyway, they're never, they're a dollar each, which is more money. This is, like, this stuff adds up. So what do we have here? Well, I'm only going to use one cucumber and one tomato. That's why the tomatoes weren't in the best shape either. That's why I bought one big one. This will be more than enough for the six sandwiches when I slice it up. Will it? If it won't be, it doesn't matter because I can just eat the rest of the bagels with um, with the hummus or with um, sometimes I'll just I'll eat it with chocolate with hot chocolate. Uh, ninety nine cents a pound tomatoes, uh, ninety nine cents each cucumbers. So then I have one for tomorrow, and I really thought about um, blueberries. I didn't do it this time, 
but the yeah, blueberry a bag of blueberries is five dollars but the benefits of blueberries are so much like blueberries seem to have it all i don't blueberries seem to be like the best superfood in the world i keep hearing things that blueberries have that blueberries can do like they have the same things that eggplants have they have the same thing all berries are amazing and it would make sense because you know if we're cave people berries would be the majority of what we would eat I have a hypothesis that apples and bananas were all berries too. They would all of the all of the fruit would have been smaller. We artificially selected them and uh, made them a lot bigger than they actually were. So I, I my I think that um, all fruits were actually a lot smaller than the fruits we see today, except maybe some of the melons. Um, and then I bought uh, I went I went through their their hummus and their baba ganoush. We we already know how much I love these things that's the hummus is such a good staple even though i don't like it as much as the baba ganoush well no i like the hummus with mm, i like the hummus with things that i shouldn't eat and oh, okay the, the baba ganoush tastes amazing with the potatoes so that's why i have to buy that even though it's more and the hummus is good with bread but i'm not going to eat bread however i have decided that I will treat myself to vegetables, which is a, such a sad thing. But, you know, these are hard financial times. But I will buy, maybe I'll buy blueberries once a week. And maybe because, and maybe I'll buy cucumbers. Well, when the prices are so bad, I'm not going to. I mean, I eat a lot of potatoes. And actually, potatoes are kind of a superfood, too. That's why the potato diet is a thing. And then, oh yeah, so what did I, I bought six cans of baba ganoush and I bought three cans of hummus because I don't like to eat the hummus as much. Kind of also, you know, both, I guess the hummus makes me farty because, you know, it's a lot of beans, it's a lot of beans to eat. Anyway, it being in a can is awesome. It's so portable and I love things that last and popcorn lasts and can oh can pineapples on sale so i do have to go back and buy that and i have to check to see i don't think i have any oatmeal left so i will have to stock up on oatmeal i don't have a coupon for it or anything and i didn't really look at my coupons before i went which i didn't even load my offers or anything for the week it was a strange week for me i was just i had so much food uh I was like, but I had so much food, but I was actually only eating pineapple and pop. I have, I had popcorn and pineapple and oatmeal is what I had. And that's what I'd been eating. And oh, and the cookies I bought. So that was really bad. And I guess I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have bought this. I should have, you know what I should have done, which is what I'm going to do at Christmas time. It's just a sale. It's hard for me to pass up. And also it was that thing in the back of my head that told me that bagels were good for you but I especially around um, holidays I you might have seen because I do I have done this on um, on here before I make a platter and I'll cut up tomatoes and cucumbers and I'll get a can of olives and I'll get a cucumbers tomatoes olives um, hummus. Is that it? I think there's something else. Hummus, cucumbers, tomatoes, hummus, and I guess that's it. Anyway, that's good. Sometimes I'll I might find another uh, another item to put in there. Sometimes, like around around Christmas time, I'll put in dates. And oh, I did do one with cheese and dates, and but I don't I don't even is if I don't feel the need to eat cheese, then. I'm not going to eat cheese. It, it, it's, it's what's going to happen. It's what's going to happen with the cookie. I can't have this stuff in my house. Are you like this? Do you have, um, so it's obviously an eating disorder because I will eat, I will eat all of these with the hummus. Well, I don't know. I'll see how, how much cucumber and tomato I can put on this and uh with hummus and i'll eat them like sandwiches and if there's one there's no tomato left at the end i'll have just hummus and cucumber in this but if there's not any of that then i'll, I'll finish the six sandwiches for sure 
but then later in the night in the night because I know I have the other bagels instead of like making myself pineapple and oatmeal or uh, I can make myself popcorn I'm gonna I'm gonna see I'm gonna check the willpower out but I'm probably not gonna these feel stale I probably I didn't check the dates which I should have. I was hoping to. I was hoping that usually they have ones that are like almost expired, and they are. Oh man, this doesn't even have a date on the tag, and it feels funny. That sucks. Really should check the expiry dates. This one is December the 11th, 11th, which isn't isn't that great. Any anywho. I will probably end up eating both of them tonight. Sometimes I'll get, and sometimes I'll get the pineapple, the pineapple, and I'll dip it in the juice and eat it with the pineapple, like the pineapple's jam or something too. But I don't, don't, don't eat bread. I'm not going to eat bread anymore. I have a hard time fighting a sale. One day, one day, maybe I won't. No, but I can't do that. One day I probably won't. One day I probably won't. That's not what I wanted to say. One day I hope I don't. No. One day. Do you, do I do this optimistically? Do I do this? One day, I. Hopefully one day. No. One day. No. Am I supposed? To, <sighs> I hope I don't have to worry about that one day. I'm not going to have to worry about that one day. What are other ways you can say it? I don't know. Do I believe it when I say it? I haven't opened the advent calendar. We're going to open up that today. I, I pulled a bag down. There was one with a, a hole in the corner, so I thought I'd choose that. I bought these at the dollar store. The dental picks. Floss picks. That's what they call them. Floss picks. Uh, so I can, I don't like that they're flavored. I uh, rinse them off before I use them because I don't know what's in that flavor. Why would they put the flavor on it? I don't want a flavor. I feel bad about using these. In, these, I would buy more environmental ones if I was in better financial standing. But it is so much easier to use these than dental dental floss. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna floss my teeth if I use just the string. These I will floss. I don't know. I do know why I bought these. I I I, I have um, toys that are vintage and I keep them separate. And I have four that I hadn't put in boxes like this and the rest of them are in boxes like this to protect each one and to keep it organized and I, I hate them and I, 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 I want to find a better solution and it takes up too much space I mean I, I should probably just put them in baggies and then put them in a box to like stop the scratching or anything but I had already bought I don't know 40 of these so I decided because to to take to take them from one place and put them in another place and put them with the rest of the ones that I had. I had four left over that didn't have boxes like this. So I decided to buy the four missing boxes for the four missing figures. So that is why I went to the dollar store for that and that. And watch. Watch us get the dental picks because in one of these advent calendars, one of these advent bags, there are dental fix. So let's, let's see what we get today. Oh, I knew we were going to get this. This is so good. My premonition was that we were going to get this because I went to the store to buy this as well and it is so good that it reminded me. That's insane. Uh, I wanted to buy this today. They have been out for a couple weeks and this was the last one I had left, and I took it out of my my storage and put it in. It was one of the only things that I didn't. It was one of the things that I wanted to talk about over the holidays with you, 
because it's something that I like to eat one time uh, every once in a while and it makes a great chocolate treat so what I do is I mix this with my stevia my sweetener my whole leaf stevia and cocoa powder and uh, sometimes I mix it with nuts instead sometimes I just make a fudge with it it's just mashed up coconut and I will stick it with the stevia and the cocoa powder and then sometimes I eat it like that if I don't have nuts but then I'll add walnuts uh, to it to um, and, it, and it is, it's like a fudgy treat and it tastes really really delicious and good or you can add any nuts to it to tell you the truth and that is it's, it's best with nuts but sometimes when I don't when I didn't have nuts I would just eat it with the cocoa powder and the coconut and the stevia to sweeten it and it would be good enough and sometimes oh which you might have seen on this channel in the summertime it's runny so it's like you heat it up you make it runny and then you can dip coconut or sorry you can dip pineapple into it pineapple chunks or any fruit into it and that's really good too but in the summertime it's liquid because in Canada coconut is liquid in the summertime and it is a solid in of the winter time in the summertime it's a liquid and the winter time it's a solid and this is going to have to be a treat oh and recently i've been just taking a scoop of oatmeal because i didn't have any nuts one day and i said hey i'm going to try putting a scoop of oatmeal in here of oats so i put some oats in it oats said it like a nova scotian a nova scotia canadian and it was really good it was kind of like a it was kind of like a what do you call those a haystack one of those chocolate cookies that are made with coconut shredded coconut and chocolate and it tasted very much like that so i was act i've been doing that a lot but then this was the last one and then the grocery store hasn't been getting them so i might have to go to another grocery store that hasn't sold out because i probably was the one that bought them all. i find that a lot at the grocery store okay and then what else did we get Oh, and we got we got some almonds. Now almonds aren't really good in that because almonds are too hard, and you can't really crumble them up. Like when you do it with a walnut, it really is like a brownie. Do they put walnuts in brownies? Yeah, see, or banana banana walnut bread. So they crumble a lot easier than almonds. But almonds, what a nice snack on its own. I have been known to put the almonds on my platter. I'll have to do a I'll have to do a, a traditional Christmas pot or two this year, where I also incorporate sweet things like dates and almonds, and uh, oh, and then maybe I will get a cheese. Maybe I'll get like a goat cheese because goat cheese is um, the best kind of cheese you can eat. So I think I I will do a, a holiday treat. I mean, I ate meat the other day, and yeah, so I might actually do that too. Okay, and our little figure, this, 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 this day, it's not this week, is Minnie Mouse from the, from the Mickey collection. Oh, so funny. It's from the same five, collect, the same Pluto that we got yesterday. So let's just open her up. I like to save my cards so I know who I have left to collect. So I'm going to put that into the box with the other one we're not going to walk around today and uh there she is a cute little like smurf like figure made by these are made by just play yeah i don't know if you i don't know if you care about toys or know anything about toys but i love toys and she's pretty awesome and cute and I like the pose. They keep releasing these at the Dollar Tree, uh, new ones, and they're all in different poses, and I didn't realize that. And that is how you they get you, and you just have to keep buying more of them because it's a different pose, so I have to get it. Anyway, I, I'm stopping, and I, I took this out of my own collection, and I am happy to open them. They're really cute. They are sparking the joy. And then last... I'm glad we're getting good examples of this too, of my old fashioned Christmas to celebrate that with my almonds and my pine cones and then these little wooden figurines we got to put on the shelf. And uh, I love these. 
uh, we will be getting little wooden things in the bottom of the bag each day. So I'm going to upload this video and I'm going to be making sandwiches and uh, I started watching Ally McBeal so that's kind of a tra uh, Christmas tradition for me. I waited until there's lots of holiday episodes of Ally McBeal and it's uh, also I heard on the John Tesh radio show that it's um, good if you can if you like to watch it's I don't remember exactly what he said. Sometimes I write down the things that the studies have said that he took them from, but it's like, uh, it is fulfilling something that I don't have. Like it's like uh, a, a tradition and it's spending time with the same people over and over every each year at this time. And it's supposed to be like a, a positive thing to do if if that is what you like to do. Like watch the same movies or watch the same TV shows and it's like watching it all over again. And I don't know if that says something about my brain. I, I do remember what happens and stuff, but it's like watching it, it's like watching it fresh for me. I don't know why I'm able to watch the same things over and over again. I love discovering new things to watch, but, and then it also helps if you've seen it a lot to um, do things at the same time, because I, I need to be productive. I very much need to be productive. But I also think it is important to, uh, I, I think it's important to enjoy yourself a little too much. I have to say I do feel guilty that, I feel guilty that I'm so, the, I feel, I feel guilty that I'm not, I'm not doing, that I don't do more. I'm gonna stop that. I'm gonna stop that. But at the same time, but at the same time, I'm going to feel. I'm going to feel. I'm going to feel. I'm gonna feel like I need to take responsibility. And what a weird lighting, man! So weird. It's, I don't know what's going on. Well, I'll definitely have to figure that out and fix it. I love you. Thanks for. Thanks for. Um, Having, having this day with me, this isn't, this isn't what I plan to do. This isn't the confident man that I told you I was going to pretend to be. I'm really hot. It's, it's warm. It's warmer outside today, so I'm, it's a little, oh, and these are, that's the glasses that I wear to the store. I'm not wearing any pants right now. Oh no, oh no, oh no, you saw my chest. I'm so embarrassed.